sad news today. The body I've just heard because I've been out today has been confirmed as Jay Slater. Now, I've got two short little videos to show you. And I still think there's some sus about this. Just not sitting right. So let's listen to what they say. So it's half two in the morning and normally Masca is absolutely silent. Yeah, I've been woken up, guys. I'm not sure what's going on over there, but something has definitely disturbed the uh, the goats, uh, which has set off all, all the dogs in the area. And that is just so loud, so, so loud. It's that loud, it's actually waking me up and got me out of bed. I'm not quite sure what it is. Now, I have been walking around myself at, at strange times, sometimes at like 1am in the morning sometimes 2 a.m but i try not to do it because this is what happens it literally wakes up the entire village so noisy guys i do genuinely genuinely wonder what has set off all the animals this morning anyway it's half two i'll catch up with you guys in the morning early start tomorrow big love Right now, that was down the rapids, and this, but that was two days ago now, so that would have been Sunday night, early hours, Monday morning, right? And then we've got this one. Hold on, I'll just go back. And this is off um, a live a stream called Dan O'Keefe. Is the link will be in the description. But this guy, whose video he's sharing, has said exactly what I've been thinking and what I've been saying from day one. So. Let's take a listen. Change location, burial sites, that kind of thing. So I know a little bit. Um, and I'll tell you, this, this Jay Slater thing, um, it's just not washing with me. Um, his apparent remains, I say that because we don't even know if they are his remains, turn up, like, conveniently near to where his, like, phone last pinged, yeah? Um, that's a bit weird in itself. Um, when the investigation first started, while well, you'd hope that that was where they first started, like thoroughly searching with like cadaver dogs, etc., um, and nothing was found, not even a beam, nothing. Then all of a sudden, his remains turn up right near to where they first started looking. That's a bit strange. I don't trust the Spanish police. I certainly don't trust that Lucy May. I think she's got more involvement in this. I don't trust her as far as I can throw her. Um, so, like, he's been missing for like nearly a month now. And I don't think that uh, the police knew how much media coverage this was going to get in the first place. I really don't. I think they underestimated that because people go missing all the time. So I don't think they like, realised how much media coverage they were going to get. So this is bad for tourism. Nobody wants to go over there at the moment, do they, because of this. So they needed closure. So all of a sudden, remains have turned up conveniently with his possessions with them. I mean, how were they placed? Has somebody placed them there? Um I think these two British guys have had some kind of involvement in, in like what's happened to Jay. Um, and I think they basically paid the police off because like they were discounted from the investigation from day one, which is ridiculous considering their past. Um, they've given them a massive bribe because they've obviously got loads of loose cash lying around, haven't they? Um, they give them a massive bribe. The police have gone away. Nothing to see here. Got all this media um, attention and pressure on the police. So they thought, right, we need to close this off. It's like affecting the economy, tourism, everything. So we need to provide a body quickly. Um, it's been a month. So let's provide the body close to where it's convenient, where his phone pinged. You know, we'll go with the narrative. 
that, you know, he got into difficulty, you know, that kind of thing. I don't believe that for a second. And then let's all get on with our lives and forget it ever happened. I really hope when, you know, his loved ones, and like, obviously my heart goes out to his loved ones, they really do. Um, but I really hope um, that, what, that they can do like a post-mortem in this country. A, to prove that actually it is his remains. I mean, come on. On. We've got the media speculation here to 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 say that it says remains. We don't know if it says remains or not. Um, it could be anybody's, couldn't it? So let's prove through DNA it's his, it's his remains. And then um, aside from that, maybe cause of death, anyone? Yeah? Um, so I hope there's a second post-mortem, uh, which might reveal more stuff, but I really don't trust, trust these Spanish police at all. I think this is just one big cover-up, and they've just provided the remains just to cover up the whole story and to get closure. And I don't even believe that that Lucy May story where she said, um, you know, she had contact with him and he said he got like one bar of battery and all that rubbish. That seems to me very, very staged. I mean, if your batteries were running out on your phone, wouldn't you contact someone before it got to 1%? Do you know what I mean? It's a bit convenient, that is. I think something happened to him beforehand and this whole thing has been staged. I think maybe something got out of hand, like to do this Rolex. It got it's not a Rolex, sorry. That that I can't remember the name of the watch, but it got stolen. That was worth a fortune. And I've seen on YouTube, um, I've seen like that apparent Lucy screaming like about him being, you know. Um, I think that story is more credible, to be honest with you, because that was from CCTV, and that sounded like somebody had actually attacked him. And um, I think uh, they must have got rid of him after that somewhere. And the Spanish police knew about this and uh, just accepted a backhanded bribe for a fair few thousand. And, uh, you know, you two guys can uh, fly back to England and there's nothing more said. Just another missing person. Hey, ho, we'll all get on with our lives. Don't fucking think so. Right. I couldn't have said it better, mate. I really couldn't. Something fishy about this? I do not. No. I don't trust the Spanish police. I do believe this has maybe affected tourism. You know what I mean? They can't afford to, to not have the tourists go there. They can't. And why didn't their scent dogs pick up on his scent? They didn't pick up on his scent anywhere, not walking down the path, not in the bushes, nowhere. So how did you get down that ravine without leaving a scent? Going down the path or around the bushes, everything. How? There wasn't even a scent of him along the road. They didn't pick up a scent at all. Now, if I was his parents, I'd be going, okay, fine. I'll get his body home, and I want that second autopsy done, because this is not right. 29 days. And then, the night before, he's found, there's a big, the dogs are all set off, Every all the animals are moaning and barking and whatever. You've got the mother paying for these forensic searchers to come out on the Monday start searching for five days and then all of a sudden oh look we found the body no not sitting there anyway let me know your views let me know what you think and i'll see you all soon till later mm -hmm.